Hey, Hal here, and I am in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, the weather here is not very, very friendly, going to minus four. It's really cold. But I want to share a thought with you for entrepreneurs and businesses. I've been talking about the mindset that is needed to be successful. Mindset is key. And one of the keys, one of the elements in that context is developing self-discipline. Self-discipline is not automatic. You have to work at it. You have to impose that on yourself. A lot of people go around blaming others, blaming this and that, why they're not succeeding and stuff like that, or why they act a certain way. Um, but the capacity to develop self-discipline will take you further than anyone can help you. A lot is within your reach, within your power, if only you would practice self-discipline. Building your business brand starts with building your personal brand. If you build a strong personal brand, it will fuel your business brand. It's much, much easier. And your personal brand requires for you to have certain things in place within you, within your life, within your person. Certain virtues are required and they require work in order to build them in your life. And you have to also have the self-discipline to delete certain things that are incompatible with the goals you've set for yourself, for your self-development project. See, your life is a project, and you have to have a plan for executing this project, and you have to have the tools in place, the qualifications, the temperament, the character, all those things contribute to um, building your personal brand. Here's how I define branding. A brand, it's like your, your name, okay? And whenever people hear your name, it reminds them of a story. And if your story is the type of story that people are willing to pay premium price to become a part of, then you have a strong brand. Then you're able to attract those people to you. There is a certain demographics out there that will be attracted to that. That's your target audience. But it starts with you building yourself. Again, let me repeat that definition. A brand is a name that gets people to remember a story, the story of that name, and the kind of story that people will want to pay a premium price to have an experience of. Because branding needs to become an experience. People will pay a premium price for a brand that is meaningful to them, a brand that resonates with them, that inspires them, that empowers them. So back to self-development in that process, self-discipline. And there are three levels of self-discipline that you need to develop, and there are more, but I'm going to share three. Structural self-discipline, building structure around your life requires self-discipline because the, the natural tendency, especially for those who did not grow into families that help build structure in them, uh, you're going to have to stop blaming your parents and blaming society and blaming what you didn't get growing up 
and build structure in your thinking, structure in your emotions, structure in the way you look at things. And now the level of self-discipline is reactive self-discipline. Reactive and the third level of self-discipline is expansive self-discipline. Oh yes, your emotions, that's your enemy. But the, your emotions are supposed to be your helper, your friends. That's how you express your personality, is with your emotions. And if you have structure in that area, if you have self-discipline in that area, you will know that even just because you feel a certain way, doesn't mean you can run your mouth any way that you want and say just, I'm expressing myself. You're free to express yourself, but I will be free to not like it and not want to be around you. So don't blame people if, uh, you know, because I hear this uh, all over the place, oh, I'm free, I'm free. Well, your freedom should not infringe on my freedom. That's basic, basic grown people concept. Your freedom should not intrude on another person's freedom because you wouldn't like their freedom to intrude on yours. So structural self-discipline, reactive self-discipline, people who have developed discipline, self-discipline and maturity are not really reactive. We respond to stuff and we respond with structure and self-discipline. Common sense, that's another aspect of self-discipline. And common sense, my definition is just think before you speak, just think before you act. Ask yourself a question. What's this thing that I'm about to say going to affect the other person? And how does this portray me? And what does this mean about my person? Because what you do, what you say, is a reflection of who you are, your person. So don't blame another person. And don't justify it by what somebody else did. If I do something wrong to you, I'm responsible to you for apologizing and acknowledging and changing my behavior. But even if I don't apologize and I don't change my behavior, how you respond is your decision. It's within your walls. And everything that's within your walls, it's your decision. You're responsible for how you respond. So reactive self-discipline. How about expansive self-discipline? Okay? You need to know how to expand. What are the bricks? What are the things that need to be in place in order for you to be able to expand safely. There is a danger in growth. There is a danger in expansion. A lot of people have grown in natural years, but because certain things were not structurally built in them, this growth becomes a danger to them. They look like a grown person, but then that gets them in trouble because now we expect them to act a certain way. So, expansive self-discipline. If you want to expand your business, okay, make sure that you cut the chunks in bite sizes that you can chew, okay? Have a rhythm to it, plan everything. Just because your friend's business has grown and expanded, doesn't mean yours has to expand the same way are you able do you have the tools do you have the skills do, i've been talking about what are the skills what are the tools what are the things that we need in order to be able to handle the growth level that we're projecting in this year 2024 okay your business if it grows beyond your capacity to handle it it will die you will kill it yourself you're not prepared so do an inventory what you're supposed to be this year based on your goals and where you at what's the gap and what needs to be built in you let's go